Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on first impressions. So I'm going to be using a lot of makeup for the first time and just sharing with you guys my first impressions on the makeup that I used. So really quick, I just want to go through some of the makeup that I'm going to be using in my videos. The first one is this Clarins um, Multi Active Eye um, Treatment. And what it does is it says it's an instant eye reviver, treats fine lines and dark circles. So I honestly love this product. This product I received from Octoly. And I got this product because, of course, I have really bad creasing underneath my eyes. So I wanted to get something because I wanted to see if this product was going to be good enough to erase my lines. It doesn't erase them completely, but however, it does give me less creasing underneath my eyes. And it just gives my eyes this bright awake feeling. So I really do love it. And I love the fact that it comes with this little silver... It comes with like this little silver, this is the applicator where the product comes out. Then it comes with like this little silver massage kind of thingy that you just rub the product under your eyes and you massage it and it kind of gives it a cooling feeling. But this product is awesome. I will have it linked in the description box down below. Next, the next product that I want to talk about um, for prepping is the Patchology um, Flash Patch Lip Gels. So these... So this is how the packaging looks, super cute packaging. I absolutely love this product because it makes my lips so smooth. You know, I don't have any cracks in my lips. I don't have any lines in my lips. And my liquid lipstick just glides right on top of it. So you can apply this at nighttime and in the daytime, but I just put a treatment on before I put my makeup on and I just leave it on for five minutes, as well as the eye cream. And then you're just supposed to massage the extra into your lips once you take take the little lip mask off I think it comes with like 50 in there and they're shaped like little lips and they're pink and this product is amazing so if you have problems with your lips being dry you know and it just looks really dry and cracky when you put on your liquid lipsticks then you may want to try these out I will have their website link in the description box down below and I think that you can purchase these at Ulta as well and I will have that linked in the description box down below as well. All right, guys, so the next product that I received from Octoly was this High Definition Color Palette by Graftobian. And I was really excited to try this palette because I've never tried anything from Graftobian before. And this is just how the palette looks. It's just like some little concealers. And oh my God, you guys, these concealers are so pigmented, as you can see in these contour shades. If you have a deeper skin tone and you're looking for a really nice contour cream, you should definitely check out Graftobian because I use this one, which is the lightest contour shade in this palette, and it was still way too dark for me. But I was able to, you know, blend it out, and it looks really nice now, but it gives you a really nice, precise contour, which I really do love. So, yeah, and I used the peach shade to correct today, and I didn't use these two shades. So I use these two shades of the Graftobian palette. These, um, these concealers, I'm sorry, are really creamy. Like it doesn't take a lot of effort to blend them out. So I think that that is why these will be a nice concealer, especially for beginners, because they are so easy to blend out. And this is my first time trying anything from Graftobian, and I am honestly, I'm impressed. All right, and the last thing that I received from Graftobian, um, compliments through Octoly. Everything that I've uh, mentioned to you so far, I did get through Octoly. So these are the Graftobian. They sent me two eyeliners and two lip liners. The two darker shades are the eyeliners, and the two lighter shades are the lip liners. So I did use these in my tutorial today. These pencils are super long, so you really don't have to worry about running out of these for a minute and I actually love how creamy they are and they glide on so nicely so yeah I had no trouble at all I used the purple one in my bottom lash line today I don't know if you can tell but yeah it's kind of purple down there not black but that's what I used on my bottom lash line today and I used the combination of both of the lip liners today because I originally started out with neutral but it was a little too light for me so I went on to this one so yeah these are the I dropped the top. So 
So yeah, these are the lip liners and eye, the eyeliners by Graftobian. Alright guys, so everything else that I'm going to use in this video is pretty much everything that I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale, as well as the few things that I picked up from the MAC Fruity Juicy Collection. I think it's Fruity Juicy Collection. Yeah. The things that I picked up from the MAC collection, as well as everything that I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale, which I told you guys I was going to kind of do a full face first impressions on everything that I picked up. So that is what I did in today's video. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look using all new products, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with the Clarion Multi Active Eye Cream. And it says that this cream is for all skin types, which is normal, oily, combination, dry, and sensitive. It says that this is a refreshing, smoothing cream gel that visibly smooths lines and helps reduce signs of fatigue around the eye area linked to hectic lifestyles or lack of sleep. This cream is supposed to be the perfect solution for fine lines, dark circles, and puffiness. And I definitely think that it helps with my puffiness and it does take away my fine lines. So I absolutely love this product. Alright guys, and next up I'm going to be using the Patchology Flash Patch Lip Gel. And I think that these things are so cool. And it says to kiss your dry lips goodbye. Quickly moisturize and soften your pout. You're left with perfectly prepped lips ready to make up and mouth off. It says that Lip Renewal Flash Pads 5 Minute Hydro Gel provides deep hydration to soften and smooth lips leaving them perfectly prepped for makeup. So now I'm just taking them off after 5 minutes and you can just tell how soft my lips look. My lips really do look soft. And they feel really soft as well. I really do love this product. So now I'm just going to put on my Glam Glow Pout Mud, and this is the wet lip treatment. I'm just going to use this to hydrate my lips while I put my makeup on. Alright guys, so I'm going to be trying out a new eyeshadow base today, and it is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Caffeine. Now I know a lot of people, you know, just prime their eyes with concealer um, these days, but I kind of figured, you know, I would try this out because, you know, you get... The, the color is supposed to be like, you know, the coverage, the color looks just like a concealer. And then you get the, um, you get the longevity of your eyeshadows with an eyeshadow primer. So that is why I wanted to try these out, kind of like a two-in-one. So this is the eyeshadow primer that I am going to be using today. Alright guys, so I'm priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Caffeine. And I love this product so much because it covers up all of the darkness on my eyes, just like a concealer would. And I love the fact that it's an actual eyeshadow primer, so I know that I'm going to get that crease-free makeup. And I absolutely love this shade. I think this shade is perfect for deeper skin tone. So I mean, if you don't like to use concealer, then this is definitely a product that you should try out. Alright, next up I'm going to use my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Medium Dark. And I'm going to use this to set my eyelids. Now this powder is not new to me, but I just love using it to set my eyes. So that's what I'm using to set my eyes today. Alright guys, so I'm going to be using the Dose of Colors Baked Brown Palette. And um, I'll have a link to where I did a review on the Margulis Mauve Palette. So I love that palette so much, so I went back and I ordered the Dose of Colors Fake Brown. And I actually really love all the shades in this palette. So this is the palette that I'm gonna be using to do my eyeshadow look today. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to use this palette. All right guys, so I'm gonna start off with the shade Outdoorsy, and I'm gonna use this as my transition color. And um, these palettes are super pigmented, but they kick up, they have a lot of kick up, but I actually don't mind that because the palettes are so pigmented. So I really like to start off with a really light hand and just build on my shadows because it's easier to 
um, app, but it's you can't take away. All right, next up, I'm going into the shade Cherry Wood. I'm just going to place this directly in the crease. And I love how this eye look is turning out so far. Like, I love every single color in this palette. And like I said, I have a full review on the Marvelous Mob palettes. So I kind of already know how the eyeshadows work, and I know that they're super pigmented. I just love these colors. Next, I'm going to go into the last shade in the palette, which is Rock Bottom, on that same brush. And I'm going to use that to deepen up the outer V. Alright, so next up I'm going to be going into my MAC Pigment in Copper Sparkle, which is really not a new product to me. But I wanted something really metallic for the lids, and I wanted this color, so I just went into my MAC Pigment in Copper Sparkle. And I just wet my brush, and I'm applying the pigment to my eyes. Alright, and now I'm going back into the shade Cherry Wood, and I'm just going to use this to clean up my crease a little bit, as well as blend my pigment into my other eyeshadow so the look can be seamless, you don't see any harsh edges. Alright, next up I'm going to take, I think, Twilight, which is the lightest shade in the palette. I'm sorry, it's tea light, and I'm mixing that with deserted because I don't like my brow bone highlight to be too bright. So yeah. Next up, I'm gonna use my Kat Von D, um, not tattoo, my Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper, and I like the ink liner a little better because it's a felt tip and it's a little easier to control. Alright, next up I'm going to go on to my primer which is the YSL Touche Clots Blurring Primer. And as you can see, a little bit goes a long way with this product and I'm so happy that it does because this primer was super expensive. So yeah, I picked this up doing this for a VIB Root sale. I had a sample of this and I loved it so much so I went back and picked up the full size. Alright guys, next up I'm going to be using the Graftobian High Definition Color Palette. And this is a highlight and contour palette, and this is in the shade Dark. Now, I love how creamy these are. I'm going to use this peach shade to correct today. And I feel like, you know, if you're a beginner, you should definitely check out Graftobian because their products are super creamy and they're full coverage, and they're really easy to blend. So I'm just taking my Pure Cosmetics Beauty Sponge and I'm going to blend that out. Alright, so next I'm going to be using the MAC Luster Drops in Bronze Hero. And I think they re-released these um, with their Fruity Juicy collection. That's when I bought them. Um, I bought them the other day when I bought the stuff from the Fruity Juicy collection. But I love this because it gives such a beautiful sun-kissed glow to the skin. This shade is so perfect for deeper skin tones. I should have put it all over my face, but I just put it on the high points of my face. This is everywhere that I highlight. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my Real Tech, not Real te Technique, sorry my Pure Cosmetics Blending Sponge.
All right, next up for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Dior Forever Skin Perfect Foundation, and this has an SPF of 35. All right, so I am very happy that this foundation comes with a pump, and it says that it is a 16 hour wear foundation, and it says that this foundation leaves a luminous matte finish, flawless correction, and exceptional comfort. It's enriched with poreless Coreless Effect Skin Care Essence, leaving the skin's texture looking more refined with each wear. Alright, it says that this is a non-oily textured ultra fusional medium to full coverage fluid, fluid foundation that delivers perfectly even color correction. Now I think the color is just a little too dark, but like I said, I got my summer shade, so I absolutely love it. And once I added my concealer on, I thought that it was perfect. But it is a little red, but that really doesn't bother me. I love the finish of this foundation. I feel like it leaves my skin flawless. I love my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric and Luminous Silk, but I think this is going to replace it. All right, next up, I don't really have a new concealer that I want to use. Um, I kind of feel like the one in my Graftobian palette was a little too light, so I'm using my trusty Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to conceal today. Or to highlight, I'm sorry. Alright, next up to set directly under my eyes before I start to cream contour, I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Alright, now on to cream contour, I'm going to use the lightest contour shade in the Graftobian palette. And as you, can guys, as you guys can see, this shade is pretty dark, so... Um, it's going to give you a really nice deep contour, but if you are of a deeper skin tone and you're looking for a great um, contour cream contour product, I highly suggest you check out Graftobian. And now I'm just going to take the bottom part of my your cosmetic sponge and I'm going to blend out my contour. Alright, next up <clears throat> to set my contour because I didn't want to use anything too deep because my contour shade was already pretty, my cream contour was already pretty dark. 
I'm using my MAC blush in Swiss chocolate. And I'm just using this to set the cream product in place. Next up, I'm gonna take my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and just set the rest of my face as well as, well as the rest of my under eye area. And I'm gonna clean up underneath that contour as well. Alright, so next up I'm going to finish off the eyes and I'm going to be using my Graftobian um, Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Sweet Violet. So because I want the purple eyeliner, I just went ahead and used my Morphe 35B palette. I'm going to use that lighter purple shade first and I'm going to smoke out the bottom lash line with it. And then to darken that up just a little, I'm going to go into the dark purple shade directly under that one. Alright, next up I'm going to dust all of that powder away. And then I'm gonna go over that with my Bare Minerals um, Original Foundation. And this has an SPF of 15 and I'm in the shade Warm Dark. And I got this step from Ellery. If you watch her channel, um, I'll list it in the description box down below. But I saw her do this, but she mixes hers with her MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. But I just dusted my powder away, just, you know, with the foundation. And next, I'm going to set my entire face with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. Which, of course, if you watch my channel, you know this is not a new product to me. I absolutely love this powder. Alright, so next up for blush, I'm going to be going into my Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Palette. And this is Volume 1. And I'm going to be taking that middle shade, which is Neo. I'm going to use it as my blush. Alright, and I have two highlighters to show you guys. The first one is the Dose of Colors highlighter. And this is a baked highlighter and this is in the shade Sun Kiss. And I absolutely love this shade. So I'm just going to show you a quick swatch of it. And then I have the Too Faced highlighter and I think it's You Light Up My Life. And it is such a gorgeous gold shade. So that is how both look. So I kind of felt like with the look I had today, the Dose of Colors highlighter would work a little better. So since it's a baked highlighter, I just sprayed my brush with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water first. And then I'm going to dip into the highlighter and apply it.
Alright, next up I'm going to spray my face with my MAC Prep and Prime um, Fix Plus and this is from the Fruity Juicy Collection and this is the um, Fix Plus, it smells like coconut, it smells really good. As you can see in my background, I have an extra one. <laughs> and then I'm just using the Graftolian Lip Liner in the shade Natural. But this shade wasn't as dark as I would like it, so I used the, the other shade, which is Sultry Siren. And for my lipstick, I'm using Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Knock on Wood. And even though I like this new color, I kind of don't like to wear without a lip liner. So these lip liners really wasn't, they kind of wasn't working out for a one and two. So I kind of pulled out my trusty Shea Moisture Lip Liner in dark brown and I went over the edges of my lips. Alright, next up I'm going to be taking a lip gloss from the MAC Fruity Juicy Collection. It's on the Cream Sheen Glasses. And I picked up two. And I'm going to be using the nude shade, of course. And that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. And don't forget to when my channel reaches 5,000 subscribers, I will be having my next big giveaway. So don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win. Until the next video.